it is nothing wrong with asking God for more spiritual gifts. There is nothing wrong with that. Some people want to be able to prophesy, speak in tongues, see in the supernatural realm, so on and so on. It is nothing wrong with that. There is nothing wrong with that. But what you have to understand, the more that you excel in God, the stronger the demonic attacks are going to be. So if you get a super strong spiritual gift from God, you have to know that the demonic attacks are going to raise as well. So if you believe that you can get something strong from God and believe that the demonic attacks are going to stay the same like this or something like that like you have excelled in God like this from perhaps here to here and you believe that the demonic attacks are going to stay right here that is foolish to think that way the demonic attacks would have to res would have to raise as well it would have to So we really have to be careful of what we pray for. Because sometimes when you pray, like I said, you only see the good side of things. You don't take an account of what you may have to go through. For instance, myself, when I was in sin, not too many bad things happened to me. Like demonic attacks because I was in sin. I was not fighting against the kingdom of hell. But when I gave my life to God, boom. When I started to help other people with God, boom. The more that I do in God, the more that I excel in God, the more demonic attacks I receive. And the higher my faith have to rise as well. Does that make any sense? Now, I am not trying to put you in fear. I am not trying to discourage you because, hey, if you want to operate more in God, hey, so be it. But I am just explaining to you what is going to happen. So... Like I said, it is very silly to think that the more power that you receive from God, the demonic attacks are going to stay low. It is foolish to believe that the demonic attacks are not going to raise as well. You have to know that it is going to raise. It would have to. Because the more you fight against someone, wouldn't they fight back? If you were burning a person's house and they saw you doing it, wouldn't they <laughs> stop you from doing what you are doing? If you are trying to kidnap a person's husband or wife, wouldn't someone try to stop you? If you are trying to fight against the kingdom of hell, why wouldn't demons fight you back harder? Think about that. So be careful of what you pray for. Like I said, I am not trying to discourage you because if you want more power, ask for it. But you have to know the more you excel, the more attacks you are going to receive. For instance, going back to the issue of be careful of what you pray for. I was watching this person's YouTube channel and I believe this person receives visions about heaven and hell. And this person was describing how Satan looks like. 
So inside my mind, I started to think to myself, hey, how does he look like? So I was contemplating on this for about, I don't know, let's say 20 seconds or so. And I don't know what you call it. I don't know if you would call it a vision, a vision image. <laughs> I have no idea. But so after contemplating on this, wondering how Satan looks like for about 20 seconds, this very clear image comes to my mind. Extremely clear. Now, I could not see his horns, if he hath horns, his abdomen, his legs, and stuff like that. Now, in, in other vision, I believe I did, but um, in this vision image, whatever you want to call it, I could see his face, like, up close. <laughs> and... I could feel, now I could see it as clear as I can see anything else, but what I am going to say, I could feel it, I could feel the wickedness more than see it. You know, when you see an evil picture, you know, like you may say to yourself, hey, this picture here is evil. But what I am saying, I could feel it. Like this feeling that came to me was so like pure evil, if that makes any sense. Like nothing but evil. And I believe it was Satan. So let me describe to you what I saw. And I forgot many of the things that I saw, but let me do my best. That demon or Satan had a very wicked grin, like a very demonic grin. Like, you know, when you do something evil or when someone does something evil, and they get enjoyment out of it, they give like a very wicked grin. I don't know how to do it or anything like that. And um, like I said, I only saw the face. And one thing that came to me more than anything else was his skin. Now you see how our skin is, you know, it is not really hard. It is very soft and stuff like that. But when I saw his skin, it looked like it was hard as a rock, like made out of some type of metal substance or steel or something like that something very hard like extremely hard like if you was to punch him or something you would probably break your hand or something like that like a very hard and i could see grooves in his skin as well that is what i saw but so when i was seeing this the first second i saw this I'm like, God, I don't want to see it anymore. Take it away from me. Take it away from me. And I kept on seeing it. I believe I saw the image for about one minute. And after I saw it, the first second, I was pleading with God over and over and over to take it away, take it away, take it away. Like, I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. Because if you were to see it, like, like I said, that feeling that came over me, that very wicked, evil, I don't know what you call it, but I could feel that more than, like I said, I could see the image, but I could feel it a lot more than see it.
if that makes any sense. And just to see and feel, that was really like freaking me out pretty much. And I was asking God to take it away now. And I had to like close my eyes and pray, asking him to take it away from me. I'm serious because that image came to me and it stayed there. I remember, I believe I prayed about something else or I was contemplating on something and I believe the image came to me. And even with that, I had to pray to God to take it away as well. So what is my point? We have to understand, give me a second, please. We have to understand when we pray for things, you are speaking to God. And as long as what you are praying for is not sinful, you have to expect that God is going to give it to you, what you are praying for. And I did not, I don't think I was praying for that, to see Satan's face. I guess I was, because I was contemplating on it. And I thank God that I could not see everything else, like his legs and his whole body. Because just to see his face, only this part, like from here, right here, only that, only that creeped me out only seeing that imagine seeing everything else like i said like the feeling that was awful very very awful and of course i have had other demonic visions and dreams of other things and stuff like that which i may go over some other time but that right there be careful of what you pray for. Because even now, like, I am very careful, like, so careful of what I pray for now. Like, I make sure that I word it in a certain way where <laughs> it is not going to come to me in that same way or in a way which I don't want it. Because when you ask for something, be very specific in what you are praying about because if you just ask for something there is many ways that God can give it to you and it may not be in the way that you want it to come does that make any sense so tell God how you want it to come so on and so on so be very detailed in what you are praying for just don't give like a a broad prayer and no, be detailed because when you pray for something and if you are serving God, you have to expect him to answer it. And when he give it to you, <laughs> like I said, be detailed because I did not want to see it in that way where I could feel it and all that other stuff. No, I want it like a very simple perhaps overall view, I guess, like not close up and all that other stuff. No, I did not like that at all. Like, man, that stuff was really crazy. So I pray that this makes sense. Be careful. I'm serious, man, because you will end up asking God for something and he will give it to you and <laughs> it is going to freak you out. So God bless.